your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Comfort Now by Bob McAllister. Summer's coming. Inventory shortages still exist. Give us a call now. Let's plan for you to be comfortable this summer. Comfort Now, 609-400-1005. And good Monday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Northeastern Nick has the evening off. Hope you took some time today to think about our fallen heroes and their families and their friends for what the true meaning of today is, that they gave us our freedom and our way of life. Temperatures are dipping back into the mid to upper 70s as we head into the sunset era at this moment. And that will continue to be the case, but the bad news is they're not going to drop much lower. So we expect for tonight maybe in the mid to upper 60s. And then we see that south, the southwesterly flow will continue. Give us a chance of maybe seeing some daybreak fog, but definitely keeping those conditions muggy across the area itself. As I mentioned, muggy for tonight, so very uncomfortable evening, unfortunately, out there. Hottest day will happen tomorrow on Tuesday because... Uh, we'll get ourselves more of a west to southwesterly flow. That means a much more uh, hotter air mass. And, and we're talking about maybe even some low to mid-90s feeling even worse with that humidity. It is going to get better this weekend. So we'll have to deal with some humidity for the rest of this week, unfortunately. And then we'll see a cold front push on through here as we head towards the end of the week. Therefore, giving us a better weekend with less humidity and temperatures back where they should be for this time of year. We'll discuss that in just a moment. Temperatures got to near 90 degrees for today, well above normal for this time of year. Felt even worse, unfortunately, with that humidity. So hopefully you got yourself some sunscreen on if you had some any, any kind of outdoor activities or went head to any type of memorials out there in your hometown and hopefully kept some plenty of fluids out there. You'll need that at least for the next two to three days if you kind of have any kind of outdoor activities planned for the next several days. Temperatures right now are still in the, as I mentioned, the 70s into the 80s. That will continue to drop in the overnight. will only drop into the mid to upper 60s, unfortunately, with those muggy conditions. Patchy fog developing by daybreak tomorrow, so be wary of that if you're heading out to the bus stop and driving to work. But then we rebound with those. With, once that fog burns off, we re rebound nicely, unfortunately. Look at this. Temperatures even before lunchtime reaching 90 degrees in places. That's just insane under mainly sunny skies. Maybe a few clouds by the afternoon hours with that heat hitting the atmosphere. That overall, though, it's going to stay mainly sunny. That humidity is going to make it feel worse. And unfortunately, temperatures are going to be in the hotter side. As we take a look now for the rest of the chance of seeing for us for tonight, mainly clear, patchy fog. We are going to be muggy. Temperatures dipping back into low to mid 60s. Winds really not much of a factor, but turning more southwest, allowing for that chance of seeing patchy fog, especially if you're along the shoreline. Now for tomorrow, mainly sunny. Temperatures dipping back up into the low to mid 90s. Look at Tucker to 97 degrees. But with that west to southwesterly flow coming off the Delaware Bay, 75 only in Cape May and 78 in Courthouse, definitely a much nicer day as you head towards the shoreline itself. As we take a look now for the uh, upper air pattern at the moment, we are stuck in this major heat wave. And the reason for this is we have a high pressure system that's off the Carolina coastline. What that, do is, what that does is it brings us what's called a return flow. Simply put, it draws in a south to southwesterly flow out of the Gulf of Mexico, which is really toasty down there. So what that does, it brings up the humidity because of the moisture and how warm it is down in the Gulf of Mexico, plus the temperatures being so warm down towards the Gulf of Mexico, that also brings us the heat. Looks like that's going to be our issue for the next several days as we're stuck in that pattern until we finally, looks like we finally get some relief as we head later on into Thursday as a cold front will begin to push through the Great Lakes. You can see here basically the difference between the blues and the yellows. That's the um, cold front itself that will push on through here and give us some relief as we head into later Friday and especially as we head on into the weekend itself. Speaking of which, Temperatures for the rest of the week, mid to upper 80s. As we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe a shower on Wednesday. There's a weak trough that's trying to push through the area. Might fail to do that and fall apart before it even does so. Front pushes through finally as we head into early Friday morning. Temperature around 79 degrees. But then we turn, we have a return, we have flow. We'll return to back to where we were yesterday in terms of more of a north to northwesterly flow. So much nicer in the weekend. 79 on Saturday, 76 on Sunday. And then look at this for the beginning, the week of beginning June 5th. Look at this. Temperatures well below normal. Wow. 73 on Monday. Tuesday, a cold front pushes on in 75. And 71 for Wednesday. Wow. I think we'll take that for the beginning of June. I don't know about you. I certainly will. Have a great evening, everybody. I'll see you tonight.